Hey guys, today I am rapid fire answering some questions. How do I prevent HA while losing weight healthily? Carbs or calories, which is more important in recovery? Um, sea swimming for recovery, like is it safe to do some very gentle swimming in the ocean? Um, appetite loss after HA, is that normal? And ways to track temperatures without using a thermometer. So I will be reading out the full questions today. Um, I'm doing an, a midweek episode because or like, I guess it's Monday, I don't know. But um, as many of you know, I just, I basically took a month off of YouTube. So I have a lot of catching up to do. I'm answering questions that you all emailed in from June. So I need to get on top of that. Um, again, sorry, I've been working on another passion project, um, YouTube, which I will link below at, um, it's called a D Cashew, or you can do youtube.com forward slash at a D Cas. And that is my best friend and I doing a YouTube video. So like a YouTube channel, um, it's like just a little bit about something I'm interested in outside of my job here with you guys. So we only just started it. Um, so go check it out and support us. She started it a while ago, but she took like a year off and now we're back and we're doing it together and I'm the producer. Um, I am in the more recent episode a fair bit more. So yeah, check it out and support our channel and um, get to know me a little bit more personally, I guess. So let's dive in. Um, Heaven Centric asks, hi, I'm 30 years old. I'm five foot two and 75 kilos. I desperately need to lose weight. So I'm trying to get in a deficit and seeing results, but I'm seeing that my cycles are getting irregular for the past couple months. I don't know if you've ever answered this question, but how do I prevent HA while trying to lose weight healthily? I think it's a fair enough question. I do, and it's a, it comes up a lot. Um, and these rapid fire questions, I'm gonna answer really quick uh, by going slow and by not doing a lot of working out and a calorie deficit necessarily at the same time um, for a long time, introducing one or the other if you haven't introduced those things, one or the other for a while, um, and that caloric deficit might happen naturally, um, but just being really strategic. Make that one change, make sure your cycle isn't irregular, make another change, make sure your cycle isn't irregular, so on and so forth, till you get in a groove. Orange1414 asks, hi, this is a late response to your video. This is in response to the daily habits to get and keep your period video, which I will try to comp to link to you guys in the comments, in the description. Um, but could you advise whether overall calories are more important than overall carbs to get your period back? So overall calories are gonna be more important, meaning um, you're having protein, carbohydrates, and fats, you really, might struggle if you just go hard on one particular micro or macronutrient, sorry, and um, forget the rest. So I would definitely focus on getting a mixture of all of them. And then most people tend to lean heavier towards one of the macronutrients. So just being really conscious of which is the one that you don't eat as much of and trying to kind of even it out, if you will. It's important for your blood sugar that you're doing all of them. Um, okay. Tri Athlete says, just wondering what your thoughts are on very gentle sea swimming. Where I live, the sea is pretty damn cold, but I still really enjoy it once I'm actually in. I've had a few recovery bleeds and don't really want to go backwards in recovery. If cold temperatures would put my body under a lot of stress, I don't want to do that. Hugely appreciate everything. Yeah. So... <sighs> It just is going to depend. Are you getting in the ocean and just standing there and floating? Cause like, great, that's pretty much a sedentary activity. Um, if you are recovered, there shouldn't be a problem with you doing things like cold showers and saunas and cold plunges and things. Um, so if you're essentially just plunging, great. If you are swimming in the ocean, I don't care who you are. Gentle swimming in the ocean is not that gentle. Maybe it's cause I'm from Australia and I just have a specific, I know what swimming in the ocean means. Um, and maybe for you, swimming in the ocean is like some calmer situation, but swimming in the ocean is hard um, no matter what. So 
I would definitely take it easy if you're in recovery, swimming in the ocean. All right. And then um, Lethe asks, hi, Danny, I have two questions if you have time. One, I got my first recovery period, yay, almost two weeks ago. It lasted for four days. And I've noticed that the last couple of days, I've kind of lost my appetite. Is this normal? So yeah, it is. Um, to have fluctuations in appetite is a totally natural thing. Once you're cycling and healthy, I don't see a problem with you having lost your appetite for a couple days here or there. Um, you may just not be hungry. Maybe you're experiencing some stress. I lose my appetite when I'm stressed and busy. It's a sign for me to slow down. Maybe my consumption of caffeine is too high. Maybe I have too much on my plate. Maybe I'm worried about something. So that's a, that's a consideration. It always requires more context. If the appetite does not come back and the period doesn't come back, you have your answer. You already know, right? Um, I am really adamant that people should not stress too much until they have evidence of a problem. Um, over time, you will be more and more experienced with the keeping and the losing and the re-keeping and the re-losing of the cycles, if you will, um, that you know how to answer this question for yourself. So it's all a part of the journey, you know, getting your first period back and then learning like what are the things that make it finicky or irregular and getting back on track. It's all a part of the process. Um, so buckle in for a solid year. Um, then she asks, is there any way to track my cycle without taking my temperature? I don't have a thermometer. If not, what time should I check it? I wake up at around 5.30 a.m. So this was back in June. <laughs> you probably have a solution by now. Um, but taking it at 5.30 a.m. is fine. Um, if you can go and get yourself a thermometer, it's much cheaper. Obviously, you can't take your temperature without spending money on some kind of temperature taking device i like the temp drop i already did a video um yesterday on the temp drop um so that's just top of mind for me I'll try to link it below um but you can wear it around your arm so you don't have to put it in your mouth and take a thermometer otherwise not really the only thing you can track is your cervical mucus but in recovery or early recovery, it's gonna be really hard to use that as a um, ovulation confirmation tool, but it would be helpful to track your mucus and just see like, when is my fertile window starting? Because basically you can track your bleed, right? And then you can track when you first start seeing mucus and when you stop seeing mucus, and you can kind of keep track. How did I see it early enough? Or was it a bit late in the follicular phase? Um, or was it right on track with when I normally start to see it? How many days did it last for? When did it transition from non-peak to peak mucus? So on and so forth. If this is confusing for you, um, maybe just watch a bunch of my other videos. <laughs> and I have courses and things on using the fertility awareness method to track your cycle for recovery or track your recovery pro progress. But I hope that that was a helpful answer. And y'all, we have our um, recovery to pregnancy or, or HAIDS recovery boot camp actually coming up on August 29th. So if you want to join that, please fill out the application. I will be taking a small group of women um, who are super dedicated through a nine day nine nine a nine day boot camp um, for answering their questions, reviewing their chart, teaching them the fertility awareness method, looking at their food logs, just getting in front of each other and having some face-to-face -face time to help them get through their cycle challenges. So if meeting with me over a nine day period of time sounds like something you wanna do, check out the link below for the boot camp. You can do that with me, starts on the 29th. That will lead into um, the recovery to pregnancy restore program if that's something that's interesting to you guys so check that out check out my best year minds new youtube channel and please continue to submit your questions i hope you also liked this rapid fire format you can let me know in the comments Mwah. au revoir